Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw. Members of the military, take note. You're going to get a special rate at this year's California Strawberry Festival. And here to talk about that, as always, Lisa Carey. So good to see you. I love being here with you, Bella. Thanks uh, so much. We have a lot of fun when we talk about strawberries, don't we? Well, what's not to love about the heart-shaped fruit when it comes down to it? But the festival, we're entering our 32nd year. Hard and it's such a tradition in the county and throughout the state of California. People come from all around to, to enjoy the, uh, the third weekend of May, May 16th and 17th. And, you know, I mean, who ever heard of strawberry margaritas or strawberry beer or you build your own strawberry shortcake? I mean, tell us what, what you can experience there. Well, that's what's so great about the festival because it sort of harkens us to an age of that's gone by. You know, you can throw a tart at somebody. Um, you can put your face in a pie and eat it without your hands, I mean, without utensils, and that's all the name of the game, you know. Um, and there's also a build your own strawberry shortcake contest where you're given a bowl and it's a time trial and you have to amass the largest towering strawberry shortcake you can without it tumbling. And um, the crowd gets into it and cheers along. We also have a very best dressed baby contest and a hat contest. and. I think what's great about the festival, it's a way to engage patrons. They don't just come and enjoy the live entertainment on two festival stages, the food, my God, the food. But, you know, they can really get involved in it, too. And there's also arts and crafts, and there's demonstrations with the arts and crafts, too. There's over 200 arts and crafts. Especially now that everybody wants to be a chef, you know, they can right. learn all these interesting recipes with strawberries. That's true. We have a berry, uh, berry blast off recipe contest, and the two finalists compete. It's kind of like a, an Iron Chef approach. They're timed, and um, it's always an exciting event. That's in our strawberry promenade where there's all things healthy and, and demonstrations and things related. So you can go to, it's on 15 acres. Wow. So you can go to all sorts of different places and not even. You know, oh, I miss that yeah. still, you know. And you got two days yeah. to, to do yeah. it all anyway. Yeah. It's a lot to cover. Uh, where will it be? It's at College Park um, in Oxnard. It's it's called Strawberry Meadows of College Park. And um, it's just off the 101 freeway. Um, and there's shuttle stops that make it really convenient to get there. And that's the preferred way to get to the festival because it saves you time and money. Um, we purposely have a parking fee so that we can encourage people to use the shuttles because it's environmentally friendly and mm -hmm. it cuts down on traffic. And last year, over 35,000 people enjoyed taking the shuttle. Free, thousand. direct access in and out. You're, you, you wave to everybody in line at the, and, you know, in their cars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the strawberry is it's so versatile, isn't it? I forget the statistics about how many seeds are on the face. Oh, there's it, 200 seeds. Yes, 200 seeds in every strawberry, not like you're going to count them. But it's it actually is a fruit that um, has more vitamin C than an orange, and a lot of people don't oh. realize that. And it's very high in folic acid, so that's very beneficial to your health, especially pregnant women. So it's, it's a healthy Oh, yes, food definitely. <laughs> and every which way at the festival. Even deep fried strawberries. I don't know if you'd be into that, well, but, I you think, know, something uh, for everybody. They do that in the South, don't they? They deep fry everything, <laughs> including butter. <laughs> yeah. So what's the takeaway you want to tell everybody? Come on out. Don't worry that there's all these thousands of people there. You know, you're not, if you don't like crowds, I mean, you're going to fit right in. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, you know what I think is wonderful about that is the festival experience. You get that energy, but there's on 15 acres, there's a lot happening. So there's a lot to walk around and see. It's not congested by any means. It's just a lot of people having fun, and, and you get caught up in that experience. Mm. And, um, you know, most people come for the food because... There's over 50 food booths, and one of the best things about that is you can justify those calories because you're going to walk it off on all those acres. There and you're you go. See those cute little babies. Lisa <laughs> Carey, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Strawberry you. Festival coming up May 16th and 17th. I'm Bella Shaw for Local Edition.